A fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Let's go, big fellow! I'm Silver! While King City slept, two men, their faces hidden by black bandanas, were busy at the rear door of the town bank. They carried saddlebags heavily laden with stolen gold from the vault to the backs of their waiting horses. Suddenly, one of them sensed something. He froze momentarily in the doorway and spoke to his partner in sharp, hushed tones. Hey, Bull, quick. What is tree? That tall hombre coming over this way. Yeah, I see him. I suppose he sees us? He must have seen the horses. What do we do? Just keep calm. Go unloading that gold. All right, Bull. I've got my old bull whip with me. That'll take care of him if he starts anything. I'll just go over here out of sight. The tall man, spied by Bull and Trigg, was the Lone Ranger, who, with Tonto, his faithful Indian companion, had just ridden into town. Noticing the activity at the rear of the bank, he left Tonto and the horses while he crossed the street to investigate. Drop that and stand where you are. All right, mister. I'm dropping it. Hey, you're masked, aren't you? That doesn't mean I'm on your side of the law. Take off your guns and drop them to the ground. All right. I'll take them off. Don't stall. You and I... Oh, good work. You wrapped that whip of yours tight around his wrist and made him drop his 45s. That bull whip's better than that, Judge. Bull whip, huh? I'm going to drill this meddler before he gets his... Oh, put that gun back. Oh, I just slapped my gun aside. Thanks for that. You fool. You know what'll happen to me if I get mixed up in a killing? But I just thought... That shuttle wake up the whole town. Hey, look. Men are coming from the cafe. Yeah, grab the golden vamoose. Right. As the sheriff and the townsmen poured from the cafe across the street, they saw two horsemen speed away. Unable to follow without horses, they rushed over to where the lone ranger had just managed to free himself from the coils of the heavy whip and was reaching for his gun. Hold it! Leave them guns right where they are. He's masked. Yeah. He wants you, mister. Never mind me. Get horses. Get after those two men. They've got gold from the bank. Drop right. the bank, huh? Hold it, boys. We'll get a posse after those critters in due time. First, we'll take this one in. Sheriff, you're losing valuable time. Now, get away. My son, you won't get away. 
Take that mask off and let's see what you look like. I had no part in the robbery. Then we'll hold you as a material witness. Now take that mask off and be quick about it. You want it off? You take it off. All right, I can do that, too. Adam Scout! Hey, Adam, 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 look out, the horse! Adam Silver! Adam, 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 Adam! The sheriff and townsmen fell back as Tonto charged in with Scout and Silver. The horses reared and plunged, bumping men off their feet, knocking them aside and creating a general confusion to avoid the threat of striking hoofs. The Lone Ranger snatched up his guns and dropped them into their holsters. That clear, Tonto? The sheriff raised his pistol. But the masked man struck his wrist with the heavy handle of the bullwhip. Sorry. Oh! I'll hold you for a minute. Get him! Stop him! Shoot that masked critter! Get the rest in, too! Ready, big fella? Hit! Come on, Silver! Come on, Silver! It was some time later. Realizing they were now safe from pursuit, the Lone Ranger and Tonto reined up in a deserted spot suitable for a camp. Oh, Silver! Oh, big fella! Oh, oh, steady now! Oh, Oh, uh, we have close call, Kima Savvy. Yes, Tonto, steady, big fellow, right where you are. <clears throat> Only those bandits hadn't attracted the attention of the sheriff and his men with that gunfire. Uh, big fellow's whip caused plenty of trouble. Yes, he certainly took me by surprise. Him know how to handle whip. Tonto, that may be a lead. What you mean? Very few men carry whips as weapons. That's right. A long time ago, I had a friend who was an expert with one. Oh, me not know that. Now, this friend of mine could pick a single leaf off a tree or take a cigarette from between a man's lips. Oh, that take much practice. Yes, that's right, Toto. The man I was telling you about was so good with a whip that he could wrap it around a man's waist and capture him on the run just as effectively as with a lariat. Oh. The way he handled a bull whip, it looked as if it were a very simple operation. Oh, it not simple. Yes, I know it. My friend gave me a whip and showed me how to use it. I was surprised to learn how hard it is to use one effectively. It takes hours and hours of practice. Ah, you finally learned? Yes, I did. I learned a few things about it. Let me see. The point I was about to make is simply this. There aren't many people who would choose a bullwhip as a weapon. That right. Toto, do you have that bullwhip handy? Ah, uh, it's right here. <laughs> wonder if I can still handle one of these. Ah, uh, here. You try. Oh, thanks, Toto. Well, it's too dark here to try to pick off leaves. I, uh, I'm going to see if I can hit that twig over there. Oh. <laughs> you never can tell when knowledge gained early in life will come in handy. <laughs> oh, that's right. Well, here goes. <laughs> that good shot, Kimasabi. That cut twig off. <laughs> yeah. I guess we better get back to work. Ah, me get it for you. Perhaps if we showed the whip to the sheriff... Would help identify the man who robbed the bank. Oh, Sheriff Fuller, have plenty quick temper. Yes, so it makes it difficult. Him think we robbers. I'll have to change his mind. Well, you be careful, Kimasabi. He may be calmed down a bit by the time I get back to King City. Um, me hope Wait, so. Wait, right there, big fella. <clears throat> Toto, you make camp here. I'll go alone. Ah, one silver. Quick-tempered sheriff of King City was sitting alone in his office when the masked man returned. The deputies were asleep in an adjoining room. What was that? Don't be alarmed, sheriff. What? Why, you ornery sneaking polecat. You've got a lot of gall striding into my office this way after what you've done. Easy, sheriff, easy. You're not getting me off guard this Don't time. you easy me. By golly, I'll drill daylight through you if it's the last thing I do. Don't draw. What? See, you're covered. Why, you fast drawn owl who's... Sheriff, I don't like to pull a gun on the law, but your temper makes talking difficult. So you want to talk, huh? Yeah, that's right. Funny time of night to be neighborly. It's what in tarnation you up to anyway. Put your gun on the desk and I'll holster mine, and we can talk. Yeah, you got the drop on me. Guess there's nothing else I can do. There. That's better. Now I can holster. Be quick with what you have to say. I'm in no mood for monkey shines. Sheriff, I didn't rob the bank tonight. You didn't, then? Eh? No. But I have some evidence that may help solve the robbery. Evidence? What do you mean? Speak up. My friend and I happened along when the bank was being robbed. We tried to stop the bandits, but one of them disarmed me with this bullwhip. Bullwhip? Yes, that's right. Here, look it over. Why, you ornery owl hoot. You think you're playing me for a fool? 
There's only one man ever used a bullwhip like that. And it helped to make him notorious. That's Bull Calhoun. One of the meanest critters ever hit these parts. And he must be your man. Bull Calhoun's been in territorial prison for three months. And he'll be there for ten more years. Bull Calhoun. Well, I've had enough of your shenanigans. I'm calling my deputies. We'll fix you. I wouldn't do that. Oh, you wouldn't, eh? Sam, Bert, come in here quick. I need your help. This gun's been on the desk too long. Hold on. Why, you, you shot my gun right off the desk. I'm sorry, we can't do business. Hey, you, wait a minute, wait. You just can't walk out on the law that way. Sam, Bert, where are you? Uh, what's going on, Sheriff? Here, what happened? What's all the commotion? That mask critter. Mask critter? Him again? Don't stand there, you idiots. After him. All right, Sheriff. I won't rest till I hang that budget from the highest tree in town. Come on, Bert. There he is. That's him outside. He's mounting that white horse. Yeah. Well, stop him. What do you got guns for? Oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Shoot him. The Lone Ranger's visit to the King City Sheriff was not in vain. He knew the owner of the bullwhip. He also knew that the owner was supposed to be in territorial prison. Though the hour was late, the Lone Ranger rode straight for the home of the prison warden. Oh, Silver Hobart, oh. Right there, big fella. Yes, what is it? Are you the warden? Yes, I'm the... Why, your mask. Now, don't be alarmed. But you can't... Warden... Warden, I'm a friend. Let me in. My friends don't wear masks. But I'm here on a matter of vital importance to you and the prison. Prison? Now, will you let me in? Very well. You'd probably come in anyway. Thanks, Warden. I still don't like the idea of a masked man calling at my home at this hour of the night. Warden, you can sit down and listen to what I have to say. Or you can be difficult like the sheriff at King City. You mean you called on him like this? Yes, that's right. It's a wonder he didn't lock you up. He tried to. He's a notorious hothead. Well, if you choose to be like him, we won't accomplish anything. Well, get to the point. State your business. Then you'll listen? Yes, I'll listen. Have a chair. Thanks, Warden. Now, what's this all about? The King City Bank was robbed earlier in the evening. But that's no concern of mine. It may be. I don't follow you at all. It was done by two men. One was very clever with a bullwhip. A bullwhip? That's right. I have it right here. Well, I'll be... Look it over if you care to. Mm, That's a pretty vicious weapon. I'm told there's only one crook in this territory who ever used one of these. Say, you don't mean... I mean Bull Calhoun. Bull Calhoun's been a prisoner here for the past three months. How could he have robbed that bank? Then he hasn't escaped? No, no. Now, uh, what do you think of this, Warden? Hmm? If Bull Calhoun could bribe his way to freedom long enough to rob a bank, uh, bury his loot, then return to prison, no one would ever suspect him. Why, he'd have a perfect alibi. That's why I came to you. If anything like that's going on in my prison, I'll put a stop to it. I hoped you'd feel that way. But, uh, how can I be sure it's Calhoun? How can I catch him? I saw the owner of that bullwhip tonight. He disarmed me with it. Then all you have to do is identify him. It's not that simple. What do you mean? He couldn't have taken the loot back to prison with him. And I don't think he'd trust his partner with it. That means he must have buried it. Mm, That sounds quite possible. If I were to merely identify him, he wouldn't get the money back. Neither would he be able to catch his partner. Hmm. Furthermore, the King City Sheriff must be convinced that I'm not involved. You see, he suspects me. Who are you? Here, this bullet is silver. I hope it will identify me. A silver bullet? Yes, that's right. Then you must be the the Lone Ranger. Warden, do you think the night guard on Calhoun's cell block might have helped him escape? Hmm, I wonder. May I help you find out? Yes, obviously you have some sort of plan. What is it? I want to become a prison guard. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. It was two days after the Lone Ranger donned a disguise and assumed the role of guard on Bull Calhoun's cell block. During afternoon visiting hours, Trigg, Calhoun's henchman, paid him a visit. If you got any trace of that mask over your head, we sure knew what the critter's game was. Probably wanted to hijack our loot. Trouble is, he nearly succeeded. As Calhoun and his partner talked, a tall man dressed as a prison guard stepped to the prison gate where an Indian was waiting. Tonto, come over here. Kimasabi, me not know you in that disguise. <laughs> that must be better than I thought. Ah. Uh, you have job for me? Yes, yes, Tonto. Bull Calhoun's partner's inside on a visit with him now. You know what he looks like? Ah. He know heap well. I want you to follow him and watch every move he makes. He'll be leaving in a few minutes. All visitors must be out in five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, I'll have to leave, Bo. Got any new plans? Yeah. I've changed my mind about staying in prison. What do you mean? Trusting a guard to help me get out so I can rob a bank is pretty risky. What, do you think somebody's wise to it? Trigger, I'm not sure. I'm... There's a new night guard on my sub blog. He, he seems to know all about the deal with the other guard. He gave me to understand that he'd play the same game. Anyway, we'll only need him once. I don't savvy. Well, here's my plan. I'll tell this new guard we're robbing the Green Falls Bank tomorrow night. Green Falls? That's what I'm telling him. I'll arrange to have him let me out at the wall gate at 10 o'clock. He'll be there with the horses and equipment just like the other nine. Go on. I'll tell him I'll be back by midnight. But by that time, you and I'll be safe across the border in Mexico. How about our goon? <laughs> You're going to dig it up tonight. Lie low tomorrow. It's time to meet me here, you savvy? I get it. Now, instead of going east to Green Falls, we'll head straight south of Border City. The bank there is an easy mark the way we work. Yeah, I know. With the loot from King City and what we pick up in Border City, that'll be mighty pleasant, Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Bull, I got a hand it to you. You're plenty smart. You just keep thinking that tomorrow when you're sitting around with all that gold. It was late that night. The entire cell block was fast asleep except for two men. One was a lone ranger on duty as a guard... The other, Bull Calhoun, waited to talk to the man he knew only as the guard. Hey. Yeah? What is it? Move over here to the cell. I want to talk to you. What do you want, Bull? You told me a couple of nights ago you knew all about the deal I had with the other guard. Yeah, that's right. I got a little business to take care of in Green Falls tomorrow night. You mean uh, banking business? Uh, won't you let me out at 10 o'clock so I can meet my part in that grove on the other side? And you'll be paid as usual. I'll take care of everything. Good. Now listen. I'm going to relieve the Green Falls Bank of its gold. Then bury it with the loot from the other job. You'll be waiting to let me back in at midnight, huh? Don't worry, Bo. I'll be waiting. Warden, I talked to Calhoun last night. Good. I let him out the iron door in the back wall at ten tonight. I see. Notify the sheriff at Green Falls to have his men ready. Fine. I'll join you there as soon as possible. After Bull and his party leave the bank, we'll follow them to the spot where they bury their gold. Right. Now see it, Green Falls. Good. There you are, Bull. It's ten o'clock. You're right on time. You've done well. Now let me out the door. You'll be out in a minute. Sure miss my bull whip. I'd give anything if I can meet up with a mask company that's got him. You may meet him again. There. Uh, that does it. Yeah. Always a crazy part of mine. That's a signal. He's over in the grove. Remember... Waiting for me at midnight. Don't worry. I'll be waiting. Oh, hey, you talk to me. That's fine. Yeah. 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 
Something wrong? Uh, plenty wrong, Kimasabi. Let me close this door. Uh. Ah, Tato, what is it? Uh, me follow Calhoun's partner, like you say. Last night, him dig up gold. It's with him now. And I've been tricked. He was to rob the Green Falls Bank first. Uh, me no. Quick, Tato, help me off of this disguise. Uh, me help. Silver's waiting. I'll put on my mask and we'll try to pick up their trail. The masked men and Tonto took the regular trail from the prison to Green Falls for two miles. Then they reached a three-way fork in the road. The trail to the left led eastward to Green Falls. The branch to the right led westward to King City. Straight ahead was the road to Border City, a town which lay a few miles to the south and just above the Rio Grande. Not knowing which trail the bandits followed, the two riders reined up. Who's over? Who's over? Who's over? Who's over? Who's over? Who's over? This mountain, have a look at these three trails. Right there, big fella. <coughs> Better light matches so we can see. Uh, we have match here. Uh, good. <coughs> Seem to be no fresh prints on the trail to Green Falls. Kimasabi. Yes, what is it, Toto? Prints of two horses on trail to Border City. Come on, Toto, hurry. Sit uh, big fella. And what do you do, Kimasabi? The riding for Border City can mean only one thing. They're heading for Mexico with the gold. Isn't that right? I know a shortcut to the Rio Grande, right below Border City. One silver and much town. Meanwhile, the warden of Territorial Prison joined the Green Falls Sheriff and his posse. They waited anxiously for Bull Calhoun and Trigg to put in an appearance at the bank so they could be trailed to the spot where the loot was hidden. Yes, yeah, Sheriff Marsh, the Lone Ranger and Tonto should be pulling in any time now. Warden, according to my way of thinking, they should have been here at least a quarter hour ago. They was following that shortcut from the prison. Well, I'm sure nothing could have gone wrong with the Lone Ranger on the job. If he really was the Lone Ranger. I'm sure he was, Sheriff. He gave me a silver bullet to prove it. I hope you're right, Warden. You've taken a mighty ticklish project in yourself, letting a varmint like Bull Calhoun walk out of your prison. Yeah, Sheriff, I realize that. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. Who's that, Sheriff? Jack O'Neill, my lookout man. Sheriff Marsh. Hey, yes, Jack. I'm right over here. Sheriff seen a sign of Calhoun was spotting out in the trail. He ain't, huh? No, sir. Well, ride back out there and keep looking. All right, Sheriff, whatever you say. Get up there. Now, Warden, it's beginning to look kind of bad. While the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode for the border, and the Warden and his party pondered the possibility of failure of the masked man's plan, <coughs> Bull Calhoun and Trigg broke into the bank at Border City. There you are, Trey. I've got the extra horse all loaded. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, that was a smart move. It's a bigger hole than I thought of. Yeah. Easy, boy. Come on, let's get out of here. Get up. Get up. Come on. And back at Green Falls a few minutes later... Ho, ho there. Ho, ho, boy. Sheriff Marsh. Message just came through from the sheriff at Border City. Oh, yes, what is it? Two men answering the description of Bull Calhoun and Trig Hawkins just robbed the bank there. And they're heading straight for the border. Oh, oh right. sheriff, you were right. I've been tricked. Warden, you've still got a chance. My men and I'll help you. All right, sheriff. Yeah. Steady, boy. Come on, boys. We're heading for the border. Get up there. Come on. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Tonto arrived at the Rio Grande, south of Border City. Who's oh, silver, homeboy? Oh, Who's got no fellow? Back down. No fresh prints here, Kimasabi. Bull and Trigg took the main trail through Border City. They couldn't be here yet. Ah. We'll stay here on high ground and wait a while. Kimasabi. Yes, Tonto? Two riders over the east. Them are men. Yes, they're angling southeast toward that narrow point in the river. Ah. We have to head them off. Come on, Silver. Come on, Scout. Faster steeds and skillful horsemanship enabled the masked man and Tonto to gain rapidly on the two riders speeding for the border. As Bull and Trigg neared the river, Trigg recognized the sound of hoofbeats coming up from behind. Hey, Bull! Look behind you, quick! What are you yelling about? Bull, look behind you! What the... What's your masked man and engine part? Yeah, they're trying to head us off, Bull! They're getting on us! We gotta stop them before they cut us off! Let them have both... Them shoot boy, I'm King Sammy. Yes, Tonto. Keep low until they've wasted their ammunition. We're a difficult target at this speed. Ah. Tonto, let me have that bullwhip. 
Uh, here. Here, what? He must have ink. Thanks, Tuttle. Glad I had that practice session. Uh, that's right. I think I can handle this one all right. Come on, Silver. Faster, big fellow. Lone Ranger spurred his powerful horse, Silver, to even greater speed. As he approached the fleeing bandit, he unwrapped the bullwhip and limbered his right arm. In a fleeting minute, he was but a horse's length behind the saloon. Ah, uh, uh, you. Get off, horse. Uh, right. Turn the bullwhip you left with me the other night. Get this thing off me. I can't breathe. Where's the gold? What do you want to know for? I'm returning it to its rightful owners. Hey, look. I'll make a deal with you. Yes? i got to get across the border. Hey, what? Hey, Mr. Plenty of fellas come. Yes, Tonto, I see them. What's going on here? What's going on? Where's the mask man? Warden, you got here just in time. Yes, hey, I know. look, Sheriff. They got Calhoun this pod right here. And you stopped him just in time. Well, I'll be. <coughs> Looks like someone besides Bull Calhoun knows how to use a bullwhip. Warden, Calhoun changed his plans a little. Yes, I was quite concerned. I'll say he changed his plans. He robbed the border city bank instead of ours at Green Falls. And he's got loot from two banks. That would have been a nice neat sum to haul over the border. By the way, where is the gold? All gold over there on three horses. That's right, Sheriff. He's got it all in saddlebags. Warden, when you return this gold to King City, please give the sheriff there my compliments. Don't worry, I'll tell him the whole story. He'll be happy to see you the next time. Thank you, and adios. <laughs> well, Warden, looks like I owe you an apology. Your mass friend saved the day. Then you're convinced he is the Lone Ranger? <laughs> By golly, there ain't another fellow alive could do a job like this. He's a Lone Ranger, all right. No doubt about that. Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.